Welcome to the MWG podcast. This is season three, episode four. And you might want to check your calendars because it might be 1996. Pokemon is back in full force. <laughs> the cards are sold out. Everybody wants Charizard. There's a new game coming out soon. Uh, we're just going to cover the Pokemon cra- craze. Man, I you really, you really sat there and wrote the intro. I respect yeah. that. Yeah, man. The, it, it sounds good, dude. <laughs> That's it. What do you call it? It's a... I see a future. I see. I see your future, dude. Like in production. <laughs> uh, sounds good. What's up, everyone? Pokemon. Uh, dot. Happy twenty fifth anniversary to Pokemon. Happy twenty fifth. Holy crap! Twenty five years. Yep. Pokemon some things. Since... Some things never change. Since when? Dude, that, can you guys believe that? Yeah, ninety six in Japan. But um, can you believe that Pokemon? Or the nineties is twenty five like twenty plus years ago now. <laughs> yeah, we don't we just don't we don't think about that. Uh, hey, just don't talk about that. Yeah, man, it is. I'm looking at the calendar right now. <laughs> it's hurting. <laughs> you gotta scroll. Yeah, I hate that. When they say <laughs> sign up and you gotta scroll all the way down. <laughs> it used to be I right know. there. <laughs> You know, like, oh, you, you, yeah, you really do have to scroll. You know what's what's funny is uh, this is completely off topic, but you know, like when you're, um, you know, when they ask for your age, like websites and stuff, like if you're, yeah. especially if you're on Steam. I don't know about the Switch, but still, if you're on Steam, when you they check your age for verification, because if you're gonna view like rated M content, um, you know, I actually make an effort to, because I know the meme where everyone just it's just January first and like ninety whatever. 80 yeah. something for the age but i don't know why but every time i always have i always like i actually make an effort to change the month to and the day so it make it look like 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 it matters right i was be like oh yeah dude, you know 95 march the 6th does nothing to do with me you know what i mean but yeah i don't know why i just make an effort to i don't like leave it i don't just change the year huh. well you your fake I mean? birthday's coming up soon <laughs> it is my <laughs> fake birthday is coming up coming up soon so but yeah, you really do have to scroll. I'm just like, oh man, that's. I guess it's it's that time, dude. Oh uh, yuck! <laughs> you can use two, you can use 2003 as your birth year. For oh the, wow, oh, man! Oh no way! That you can use 03? <laughs> what the heck? Dude, I graduated from middle school that year. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's wild. In 03, I was not playing Pokemon. Well, yeah. the games. I was playing games, not anything else i don't think i was Yu Gi Oh was a big big thing around then oh yeah yeah what was it metal raiders pharaoh servant all those now the only stuff that sold out is pokemon cards that's actually not true baseball cards and uh like sports cards are sold out too it's oh, crazy yeah. right now yeah match is slacking i see that i see sets from like five months ago still up <laughs> Looking kind of weak right now. So OG though, so it's all right. It, it's so crazy how card the cards have blown up within the last like year. I I I just remember being on Reddit or being on Twitch or something, and seeing uh, like an opening as a clip. I seen a clip of just like an opening, and I'm like, what the heck? Like, also, when did we just decide to start buying Pokemon cards again? Not that I'm against it because I love Pokemon. It's just I was just genuinely surprised. I, I was like, what is the yeah, I mean, I just assumed naturally that okay, maybe it's just worth something, and people remembered, and they're like, oh yeah, we should just do this. And then it's crazy the amount of influence that the that content creators have now in general. People like the you know you, you said you guys go to Target and the aisle is just empty. It's because of them. Like I'm it, like they literally just decided to stream themselves doing this. <laughs> like everyone could afford it too, right? Like they've spent like twenty grand on some <laughs> on some sets. And you know you got a little Timmy over here who only got like twenty bucks. Ah, uh, little Timmy. Little Timmy's the one pulling Charizard. <laughs> oh, facts. He, and then he bends it. He, oh, oh, he creases it. <laughs> he yep. had the crease. <laughs> or he puts the uh, the rubber band on his deck. Oh <laughs> no! no. <laughs> oh man, he's grimy. Oh, you know, you know, you eat the hot Cheetos and you be touching them <laughs> real quick. <laughs> kick off the podcast we're gonna do a quick little game 
Uh, I'm sure everybody knows this one. Who's that Pokemon? But due to, you know, copyright and we're not really throwing up the images, we're going to play 20 questions instead. <laughs> so each of us has a Pokemon in mind and we got 20 questions to try to guess who it is. Anybody want to go first? Oh, I can't go first, dude. I got to find a Pokemon. To do this with you. <laughs> Wait, you got you 800 options. <laughs> what do you mean? That That's the problem, dude. There's too many options. All right, well, I'm ready. All right. Let's hear it, dude. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Right, go ahead. Ask away. Oh, we asked the questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. 20 questions. Oh, yeah. oh okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. What type is it? Uh, I think it's got to be yes or no questions, right? Oh. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. Is that how? I don't know. <laughs> I've never really played. Is that how it <laughs> Uh, oh, that's gonna be mad hard because there's hella types. There's even the hybrid types. Okay, <laughs> it is a hybrid type. We'll go with that. And okay, it is a fighting. Oh, okay. He oh he gave it a type. Yeah, it's fighting and it's hybrid. So we'll answer those two questions. So is that one? Oh, that, is that two questions then? Yes, yeah, two questions. Okay, Moss, we gotta do a better job. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I mean, I think you guys will probably get it. I mean, it's not that many dual type fighters. Oh, I don't know. You could have fooled me, bro. I don't know my Pokemon anymore. <laughs> no clue. It's a fighting type That's Pokemon. That's a good amount. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, and we're only going up to Gen 4. Yeah. Is it Gen 1? No. Okay, that's a throw. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no hybrids in Gen 1 for fighting types. Um, uh, yeah. Let's see. Is it secondary type grass? No. Okay. I think I know what it is then. <laughs> I think I'm thinking about Breloom. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> close, I'm close. Keep it not obvious. So, <laughs> Carl, are you gonna do one or what? I uh, dude, I have no clue. I don't. I don't even gonna help. Mm, is it? All right. It's a. It's a hybrid. Is this Pokemon in Smash? No. Oh uh-huh. man, that's too. That'll be too easy. Dude. <laughs> that's. That'd be too easy. It's five, right? It's five questions. Yeah. Honestly, we do have a lot of questions to play with. Yeah, another one. I, is this Pokemon weak to itself? Yes. No, it's... <laughs> if you're gonna get, if you're gonna guess, this sounds good, like a good plan to me. All right. Uh, is it Metachan? You got it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm assuming we're doing one each of these. Yeah. Yeah. One's okay. enough. All right. Cool. I can go next. I have one. All right. All right. Okay. First um... question. You ready? Yeah, I'll go with this one. Yep. Can you ride this Pokemon? <laughs> no. You can't. So you can't ride the Pokemon. Okay. Duly noted. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Carl, you got one. Let's see. This is also a potentially a throw. Is it? Is it Gen two? No. That's a throw. Let's Can see. This Pokemon learn explosion. It does. I don't know if it still does, but it did at one point. I'm throwing two crawl at every Pokemon. <laughs> it's explosion. <laughs> it's time to Google, boys. <laughs> uh, is it a uh, steel type? No. Okay. Is it a legendary Pokemon? No. Okay. Is it a starter Pokemon? No. Does it walk on two legs? No. Dang. Mm. Wait, we can't ride it and it doesn't walk on two legs. This is it's confusing. <laughs> it d- does it float? It does not float. Does not float. Dang. All right. All right. So it's on the ground, but you can't ride it? Is it a fire type? No, it's not a fire type. Uh, let's no, how see. many questions is this? We're at nine. It's nine. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start hitting some home runs here. This is nine. It knows explosion. <laughs> <laughs> That's so important. What do you mean? <laughs> so huge. And it's not Gen 2. No. It can be caught in Gen 2, but it's not. Gen yeah, it's two. not Gen 2. Yeah. Oh, so that means it's Gen 1 then. All right. Is it Gen 1? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it's Gen 1? 
Okay, that narrows it down then. So okay, I think we're at you 11. can't ride it. It's not fire type. It doesn't float. It doesn't walk on two legs. Dang. Well, you said it's not a fire type, right? Yeah, it's not a yeah, fire type. Fire. Okay. There's explosion. Uh, does Is it, it a... look like a Pokeball? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh well, that get that throws that out. That gets that out of there. <laughs> and it doesn't float. No. It's not legendary. It's not hey. looking. It's not looking good. <laughs> this is tough. This is tough. It 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 doesn't have. It has more than two. It doesn't have two legs. No. Okay, it doesn't have two legs. Scrolling through <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> databases right now. Yo, me too. I'm scrambling right now. I don't even know. I have no clue what this is. Yeah, let me. Hmm. Gen one. What is it? What is this Pokemon? Hey, get to me! Don't do this on Twitch. We be, we be uh we be getting blown up. <laughs> oh, this is. Wait a minute. Uh. Hmm. Is it ground type? No. No Doug Trio. No, we don't know how many like Doug Trio has. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I think we're at thirteen questions. Yeah. There's so many Pokemon that you can ride. But <laughs> you can. What is this? If it's mm. something like Pikachu, I'm gonna be mad. Is it uh is it two type? Is it two types? It is a non dual type Pokemon. Oh, okay, so it's single type. Single type Pokemon. Okay. Is it a version exclusive? Ooh, is it? Um it does not look like it is, no. So that's a lot of Pokemon we can uh, narrow down now. Feels bad, bro. 15 questions. We're nowhere closer either. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like I got any closer. I have no idea what this is. We're farther. You know what lost me is the float is the non floating, non two legs. Yeah. It doesn't float and it doesn't have two legs. When you pick an obscure Pokemon from the first gen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you find it? Before Safari Zone or after Safari Zone? After. After, okay. Do you guys know stuff like that? I don't remember stuff like that. That's crazy. <laughs> it's been way too long since I played those games. I mean, technically. Oh, uh, technically? I'm going, I'm going gym-wise. Yeah, it would be after Safari Zone. Gym-wise, so, okay. Yeah, that's Future City. Oh, that was, six, that was 16. I can't wait to listen to this episode a couple years from now and just like play along and not remember what this Pokemon is at all. <laughs> Ask the same questions like ah, ah, snap! What do you mean? <laughs> does it oh, have? Think- does it have no legs? It has no legs. No legs. It has no legs. That's one question. Okay, now we're at seventeen. <laughs> Okay, there's only a couple no leg Pokemon that you find after Fuchsia City. So while you guys are thinking about that, did you guys see the uh the post Malone concert? I did not. Did you? No, no. I missed it. That's kind of cool. I'm glad that Post Malone's about Pokemon. Like he likes Pokemon. It's cool that they do like a virtual concert with him. Yeah, right. I actually they like Post Malone and too. everything. Yeah, that's cool. I gotta check that out. I actually like Post Malone, so that, that that's cool. I think I like him without knowing it's him. You know what? That's good. I like that. He that, that's good. Just, just if you just don't know it's him because he just makes good. He just like yeah, uh, like catchy music. Music. I'm like, oh, I like this song, and then then I find out it's him. I'm like, oh snap! Oh crap! Like when? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I I like Post Malone. He's he's cool. Yeah, like I see him on like Hot Ones and stuff, and yeah, he's like an interesting guy. Does it have three evolution stages? No? no, that's 18. No. Okay, so I'm narrowing it down, right? It could be execute because he doesn't have legs. Mm-hmm. It could be 
horsey, something that has legs. Okay. And that's all I got. Maybe ditto. That's what I was thinking. What about ditto? Yeah. It could be ditto. Yeah. It could be ditto. I'm gonna be pissed if it's ditto. <laughs> that's some cheese. <laughs> What was the girl in the anime that was the ditto trainer? Oh, oh forgot, I, dude, I, don't I can't remember her name, but she had a ditto that couldn't transform yeah. away. Uh-huh. Duplica. <laughs> Is this Pokemon <laughs> related to Duplica from the anime? <laughs> oh, that's an obscure uh, question. <laughs> the ditto I trainer girl. Did the ditto Not trainer ditto. girl have this Pokemon? <laughs> um, I'd have to uh, let me look her up real quick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, regardless if it's yes or no, this is 19. <laughs> Did she only have Ditto? I think she only had Ditto. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's not Ditto. We have one more question. And I, don't even, I don't even know what to ask. It Single type, something about explosion. <laughs> Doesn't float. Right? Right. No legs. Is it execute? <laughs> oh wait, no, it's single type. That's a question. It's, that's not single type. I thought execute was just grass. It's just grass, grass psychic. psychic. Oh shoot! I had to think about that one. Snap! <laughs> we take that back. <laughs> we, we get one more. Guess. I never answered it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he never answered it, dude. I think this is for all the oh, marbles. <laughs> this, this is this is for all the marbles, Nash. You got this. I don't got this at all. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> Just I, throw. I, it doesn't matter. We're... How about I get a guess and then you get a guess? Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm ready to just. I'm ready to just. <laughs> oh man, I'm ready to just guess a random Pokemon just so we get it over with. Go for it. <laughs> 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 is it Arbok? <laughs> no. Okay. I just wanted to guess randomly. I didn't even want to. I'm just over it. I have no clue what this is. I'm out of options too. Is it Dratini? Oh. Dang. Oh, what was man. It? All right, Moss. What is this Pokemon? Muck. Muck? Oh, oh, man. I was thinking about that. I scrolled past it. Like, it could be. It could be Muck. Should have done the Team Rocket question. Honestly, though, this is this is on. He, this he, is on. Muck was an on Rocket. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think this one's on Ash us. Did have one though. This one's kind of on us because we gotta ask the right questions. I'm again. I'm not the best at Pokemon, so I don't even know what questions to ask. There's just so many questions. To ask. Yeah, what? Ash. Uh, Ash did have Muck, and he's in Pokemon League. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Muck kind of cheap. I actually like Muck, dude. He he can do Sludge Bomb, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I just like that move. It's just it's cool. It's a special <laughs> attack. Um, it it could poison you. Uh, yeah. I just thought it was a cool. Like move. the strongest. I think it's like yeah. one of the strongest special attacks. Poison type kit. Yeah, that move is, is super cool. I like that move. All right, I got a Pokemon. If you guys are ready, it's kind of nice being on the other side. This <laughs> is kind of yeah, cool. Let's go. All right, go ahead, boys. Let's hear it. No, do you want to start or? Yeah. Does it learn explosion? <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Let's check it out. I, I doubt. It. I don't think so. Like, can it learn explosion? Yeah, can it? I'd be surprised. It doesn't look like it. No, no, absolutely no. Okay, definitely not. Um, let's see. did it debut in three? Oh, you said did it did did they debut in in three? Yeah. No. Okay. Is it Gen 1? No. Let's see. Is it... Dang. Um, or did it debut in Gen 4? No. Okay. That's Gen, Gen 2. two. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the Steel type? Is it Steel type? No. Does a gym leader use it? Yes. I was gonna ask that too. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So what's flying? Brad. No, flying bug. Ghost. 
think there was a steel type, ice type, dragon type, and is it the Kanto or the Johto part? Oh, <laughs> oh good, good, good. That's a good question, dude. Yeah, that does. <laughs> Not bad, dude. That's jo- it's Johto. Okay. This man narrowed it down. I think with other. Let's see. I don't know. If uh, I, could, I don't know if I could salvage this win. Oh my gosh! What's wrong in Gen two? I can't remember. It's not a steel type. Let's see. Is it Mil Tank? Robin said, "Is it Mil Tank?" Yeah, it is. It is Mil Tank. <laughs> <laughs> stupid Pokemon. Stupid gym leader with a stupid oh, move. Man. Absolutely ridiculous, make no sense. No worse. That, that was the worst boss. It all of us makes no sense, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Milk imagine milk drink attract. Why? <laughs> Why? Roll out. Yep, no, that's it right there. <laughs> Roll out and it only hit, and it hits you five <laughs> times every time for some reason. <laughs> every time it gets stronger, it's just like okay. Full restore. It's tanky, so you can't even one shot it. Like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, you get no Pokemon that are like fighting type really leading up to the gym battle. So it's just like, all right. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, only man. level 22. That's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Pokemon. Anyway, fun game. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. one gen two and gen three, huh? Yeah, all three gens. All right, so what are we tackling next? I don't know. Pokemon. When it first came out, there was the anime, there were the games, the TCG. We got a lot. Oh, dude, cover. Pokemon is such a crazy phenomenon. <laughs> no. Like, oh my know. gosh. The playground battles. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been like one of the funnest things about Pokemon growing up. It was just like everybody had their own favorites. And everybody would argue what their favorite, po- like why their favorite is better than another one. Like being Pikachu, Charmander, Star, and Squirtle oh, yeah. for hell long. That's right. It's definitely a big part of my childhood. Um, it, yeah, it, it is. It's just, it's a fun, it, you know, it, it was just, it was fun. There's just so many Pokemon that exist, so many discussions that could be made in school. Um, yeah, and then just flexing to your classmates as to like what you, your feats, what Pokemon you got, what level they are, right? And you always know who was really about it too. Like I remember we were talking about battling or something, or just like or showcase Pokemon, and like I don't even know why this man even asked me to battle when his Pokemon are like level fifty something, and my Pokemon my for alligator were like level eighty something. And he's like, dude, you're crazy. And I'm just like, I just been about it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, dude, that's what all the EV, that's what all the EV training in English class got me. In <laughs> class? Oh yeah, I was EV training in class, and, and this is before, and this is before X and Y to where they made it easy, right? So like an X and Y, you could um, there was that little mini game. They didn't call it yeah. EVs, but like that's that's clearly what it was, right? So yep. that you you do the little mini games, and like when we watch a movie or just like it was mostly like when we watch a movie or we were just. I would just have my DS on my desk and I have like my, maybe my sweater, my backpack in front of my, my desk. And then like, I would just like look down and like, I would just farm at whatever route I was at for whatever EV I was, I was farming. And then I would have to, I wrote it down. Like I'd have to I'd tally mark on like a piece of paper. Uh, yeah. I used to do that too. <laughs> you guys do that? The tally marks, dude. I, yeah. I forgot. I, I'm, I'm super out of touch. It was like I don't remember if it was like four or five. You had to every four, I think. Every four, yeah. Every four, yeah, four is a, a whole point. Yeah, and I know. It's po- every four, every four points is that um, you get the yeah. It's one. Yeah. One yeah, happens. and so and and certain Pokemon would give like could give like two right if you killed like a yeah super three. sweaty. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was cool. So I used to tally mark. And yeah, and what's even better is like I didn't even do all the research, so like I I had a somewhat <laughs> good Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure it was a way more optimal, way more optimal build. I just I was just not as sweaty as I wanted to be, but but yeah, needless to say, uh, I was really I was kind of about it, and all like my casual friends were just in awe. I was like, yo, it take work. <laughs> it take- <laughs> 
so yeah it's it's a big part of my childhood you know that everybody has that moment where they flip from the i hope i can win to i'm training this i know that feel yeah yeah Yeah. oh my gosh i couldn't beat the first game it took me three tries (laughs) but by gen three i was sweaty (laughs) dude oh my gosh i remember getting my game boy and getting red and or yeah red from um circuit city in san jose oh my gosh circuit city yes wow (laughs) what's that (laughs) what's that (laughs) That's Best Buy, but really, really old. <laughs> no, they don't do this anymore. Um, oh, man. This man yeah, about, to up, was... about to bring up Radio Shack, too. <laughs> are you at it? No, Radio Shack's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Ira. What were you saying, Moss? Um, so yeah, I guess it, I just remember how much fun it was to, like, just be in the middle of, like, the Pokemon craze. <laughs> Like, I remember I had no idea what Pokemon was, and I went over, to, um, went over to one of my friend's house after school, and they had, um, they put the anime on, and it was, I think, the Lieutenant Surgeon battle. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this is pretty hype. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, you know, he won, Ash won, after he got beat up the first time. The episode finished and said, to be continued. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you mean and that just like that'll do my mind my friend was like yeah they just it says that after every episode and it's like oh, okay and then uh that's pretty much like when i am getting to pokemon mm-hmm. and basically been in it ever since um so yeah the anime got me and then just kind of push push me into everything else i guess we all say how we got started I can't even I don't even know when it became when I started to become competitive. I don't think I ever truly became competitive because I just remember playing it when I was a kid and you know being somewhat aware. And I never really wanted to play a whole meta team because I just didn't like like half the Pokemon that were viable. At least oh quote unquote viable, right? Um, by viable I mean cheap. <laughs> like, I just didn't want to play like I just want to play some stuff I liked. Cause I, I like water Pokemon a lot. So I just, if it were up to me, I would just be freaking miss. I would just do a Misty impression and just have all these Pokemon <laughs> that are suboptimal, but like, they're just Pokemon I like. So I think like some of the sweaty Pokemon I had are like maybe Ty- Tyranitar, Metagross. Yeah. Um, and went all pseudo legendary. <laughs> I, dude, you know what? I never used legendary Pokemon ever. Like just casually. I, I, even when I was a kid, I don't know why I just didn't do it. I think it's because I had my, I had a cousin that was somewhat competitive and it was something that he frowned upon because he's always been like the whatever the opposite of a you know of someone who's super into tier lists he likes playing low tier all the time right and then so he 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 would like shun me he would shun anyone and be like man you got legendary in your in, in your on your team that's kind of fraudulent dude that's too cheap and i'd be like hey you right <laughs> so i never re- i never use legendary pokemon but but yeah, I don't know when it is. I I never I don't feel like I ever became like truly competitive. And Nash sounds like he did though. Oh yeah, uh, that was a graduation present from eighth grade. I got Pokemon Emerald, and that summer, <laughs> I went crazy because uh, my friends down the street taught me about EVs and IVs. Oh no! And it was like my first time. I found the Cerebi website. Oh. And had all the lists and all the guides, and I had the tally Dang. marks and everything man all that grinding and i think i only babbled once because nobody had a link cable <laughs> <laughs> oh the link cable yeah dude. i think i knew one person in my entire life that had one and it was my neighbor and dude, the link cable was clutch i think he just used me he used me for the because <laughs> you know you had to trade pokemon to get certain pokemon yeah. Yeah. i don't remember if it was like my champ or someone that he tried to get but he used me. But you know what? It's cool, man. At least I used the like, cable once. Like it was cool. <laughs> you see that Pokemon promoting a uh, promoting socialization? Yeah. Since day <laughs> one. Yeah. You want to collect everything? You're socialized. Let's make sure you have some friends that have the game. Yeah, I don't you know. You guys remember the link glitch where you could clone the Pokemon? Wait, what is this, dude? What is what are you talking about? So you'd send, like, you'd choose one Pokemon you'd want to get rid of, like a Rattata, and the other one you want to clone. Uh-huh. And when you trade it, 
after the rat tata goes, and as soon as the other one's coming, you unplug one of the Game Boys and it oh. closes it. Okay. Dude, That's switching Pokemon are hilarious. That is sweaty, dude. And Pokemon the fact that the people actually glitches. like learn that. Like, how the heck do they even come up and, like discover the glitches? No, is it? Either right handy glitch, classic. Yes. Which one is it? What glitch is that? The reckoning glitch from um, red, red and blue, and I think yeah. maybe yellow. Uh-huh. I think they got rid of it in yellow. I yeah, I think I might take it out by then. But yeah, so basically, um, wow, how do you do this? Like basically, in yeah, it does like an infinite like amount of uh, whatever item you have in six slot. Uh huh. And then you have to. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Oh, so you got to go to the first city. I know it's on Cinnabar Island. Okay, so you, yeah, you have to get to Cinnabar Island first, and then you go to um, go back to Viridian City. You go to the Pokemon guy that catches uh, who like shows you how to catch Pokemon. I think you watch his little demonstration or something. And then you fly back to Cinnabar Island and you surf the coast until you find a missing no, and you either battle it or run away from it, and then uh, yeah you get a whole bunch of rare candies or whatever item is in that spot. So you just duplicate like all the items. You get hella rare candies, hella master balls, um, all the TMs and all that stuff. Everybody got earthquake after that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody had level 100. Do I, need to, <laughs> do I need to remind you guys how hard it was to get like stuff? Like how hard the Pokemon company made it to get stuff like leftovers? Yeah. Like, it, I was like, man, y'all really doing this? Like, I don't got these. Like, I, my, my team is, I don't want to put in the work. I need this specific item. I was like, man. What don't you just find in the trash, man? But you only get one. <laughs> you only get one. Yeah, you can't have a, uh, what's it called? You can't have two more than the same item in the same battle. It's just weird to me how, it's just, it's, just we- it's just weird to me how, like, we had all these people who were playing competitive Pokemon who had, like, the most optimal builds and the most optimal items, and I was like, "Okay, on the real boys, did you guys really get this from grinding the the tower or whatever it is that you or, or like exchanging points at the whatever shop? Or y'all were using hacks game show? What is this? What, what, what is this, dude? Uh, a yeah. little bit of both. Game sure. shark? What? What's the uh, game shark? <laughs> <laughs> it was Gen Four. That's when uh, me and my friend we went half on an R four. And oh we, my gosh. We hacked Pokemon. We had the, you know, Sheninja had the Wonder Guard. We put that <laughs> stuff on uh, everybody. Everybody oh had Wonder gosh. Guard. Everybody <laughs> has team teams. Boost. Yo, yes. You know what that is? Reported. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like that. But again, nobody had the link cable, so we never got to use it. Oh, Gen 4, you didn't need a link cable, man. No, That's well, tragedy. Nobody played. Like by the time we got the hacking down, the hype. See, down. If we would have known each other back right then, could have been playing adults. But yeah, um, Gen One had so many cool glitches. Were you guys around for like the uh, or like aware of Pika Blue? Pika Blue, yeah. <laughs> what is what is that? I need to know what this is. So, <laughs> Gen One has like the best rumors and you know mysteries and all that stuff. Okay. The Pika Blue was uh, the secret Pikachu form, basically. It was like a second, like a new Pikachu ver- variation, kind of. Uh-huh. I think that you could find in the uh, Cerulean Cave. Okay. And like the way to, to discover it was very, very specific. I don't remember like, all of the exacts on how to find it, but it was super specific. And it's like a rare water type blue Pikachu. Oh, man. That did not exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, season one glitches were out of control. They were. Gen one has it has all the best, all the best stuff. Basically, I think Pikachu ended up becoming Meryl. Yeah. Um, uh huh. But yeah, it's just Gen one was so fun because <laughs> it was so like it was just so new yeah. to everybody. Right. The new glitch the... was cool. Well, with all the new glitch, I remember that. Yeah. New glitch was good. I love that. finally I can catch all the Pokemon without having to trade people. We're in there. Did you did you guys play the card game? I didn't play the card game growing up at all. I had some cards, but I never played it growing up. Mm, sort of. I mean, I had the binder. Oh, but you had the binder though. Yeah, but I had like 
five packs total. And it was so sad now that I think about it. In my binder, every page was, I had the pack that I pulled it from and then all the cards. Mm -hmm. I was proud of that. Let's see. So I do remember playing like the TCG. Um, I remember my friend got the, like the Machamp starter deck and like we split the deck in half and played that, which I don't think really works. <laughs> That's like mm -hmm. my first time like playing, like ever playing. And then right. uh, my other friend, he started going to like the Pokemon leagues that they okay. had at um, Eastridge. And I went with him one time. So I had, I don't think, I, I don't know if I still have it, but I had like the Pokemon league um, book where you can like get the stamps and get, earn the badges and all that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Only did that once. Um, so yeah, I played a little bit. And then when so, like moved to Tracy, my whole neighborhood basically played. So we played each other. So it was super casual. Mm -hmm. And we'd make we kind of like make up our own rules as we played. That's kind of cool. At least you but played. Yeah. But yeah, never had like a really big collection. I remember one time, since you know we were all playing, one of my friends, this man got hella money from like a grandma one time, and he went over to like Evie and bought like basically a box worth of booster packs, and was just like opening hella cards. That guy's this the man, best. He's the best. He had like the most legit collection. I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty funny. I like that. So I hated playing against him because he always had the best cards. <laughs> <laughs> Classic arms race. So yeah, yeah, like it was really something that kind of bound us together. Like that and wrestling uh -huh. over here was what made us all become like really good friends. I think uh, I think Pokemon. Now that I'm thinking, now that I, you know we're here and having this discussion, it kind of it kind of makes me sad because I realized like just now that I, I think like the older I got and like the just busier, you know, with school and eventually going to college and just working full time. Um, I just, you know, the older I got, like I just had no time to play Pokemon and Pokemon was like, even though I wasn't very, you know, I wasn't very try hard. Like I wasn't very, I wasn't like super immersed. Like a lot of people were, it was just such a huge part of my childhood because it wasn't just the games it was the show, it was the merchandise, it was the, you know, just seeing it. Anime, is, yeah, everything. Yeah, just everything was my childhood. And then, like, you know, I still bought the games. Like, I, I bought Alpha Sapphire, I had X and Y, I had Black and White 1. I never had Black and White 2. Um, and then the very last time I played Pokemon was uh, Sun and Moon. And, I, I mean, I had my gripes with the game. But at the same time, it was still Pokemon, and it was still cool. I didn't. There's no Pokemon game I legit think is trash. I'm just gonna be honest. Like it's. I mean, yes, some you know, to me, Sun and Moon might be subpar, but I, it'd be very unfair if I called it trash. But yeah, I just yeah. I just got older. I had no more time left, and at this point, my attention span is completely wrecked. I'm just moving on to the next thing. You know what is cool is while I'm not you know as passionate as i used to be about pokemon and i don't know about your guys' siblings but my little brother still thinks pokemon is cool is super cool he loves he thinks it's great he um that's cool. definitely about the games yeah so that that's makes good. me happy it's crazy that like once you got to college it was like less less pokemon cuz i don't know about yeah sjsu Tell people to play Pokemon. <laughs> I have no doubts. You 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 had me at SJSU. <laughs> That's all you need to say. <laughs> student Union. That that bottom level of Student Union next to like the arcade and stuff. Yeah. Pokemon. That's cool. Pokemon I like that. We're just going all over the place. That place is funny, man. It's so diverse. I've seen I've heard people talk endless stories of just like super nerdy stuff you could engage in over there. It's like Pokemon. Just, there's a I don't know how it is now. FGC over there. It's like, you know, yeah. So. I don't know how it is now since they got rid of like the arcade. I think they got rid of the arcade. Uh -huh. How would they do that? They remodeled the student game, uh, okay. which it looks really nice, but without the arcade and yelling and stuff, I'm like, uh, what's the point of this? <laughs> right. But yeah, dude, Pokemon's been around. It's just been involved with so much stuff. It's been so fun to like just be just part of it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I got pretty sweaty in. Uh, Gen 4. Gen 4. All right. No, that was Gen the four, gym. My sweaty period. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the game I have the most hours in. in my, uh, my diamond version. Yeah. Um, I think I have like 400 something hours in there. 
Mm-hmm. It was ridiculous. And uh, yeah, just like now, you know, like like I found out about uh, Sarvi and just started like getting into like EVs and IVs and all that stuff, learning about like competitive sets and like Gen 4 was already out in Japan, but didn't come out in the US yet. Uh-huh. So I bought Emerald and started like collecting Pokemon again, filling up my decks and that, learning like about natures and all that, all the competitive Pokemon stuff. And then like when Diamond and Pearl came out, after I beat the game, I went in. <laughs> <laughs> I had head what seems like I still have some of the um the mods that I bred for head of play. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you lost me at breeding. <laughs> yeah, Wait, that's you why I had four hundred. You find a loss. That's why four hundred plus hours in the game. Yeah, bro. You find you got to find the right route, and you're just like watching TV or something, and yep. just like moving left <laughs> and right. Can you? Do you still got to do that now? I gotta ask that. I, I'm. This is important. Like, do people? I, do, like, if you're breeding now, like, you still got to do that exact thing. There's got to be a more optimal way to do it now. This. I don't think there is. Because I'm just like. You know, has Pokemon ha, have the Pokemon company really been taking notes? Like they know people really be about it, really be here. Like you know, you got the hood strats on, like the hood strats, where people are just like, like they have like some kind of contraption that keeps the button held down, so they don't they don't got <laughs> <laughs> that. The, 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 <laughs> that. You had to get the Game Boy SP because that was the only one where you could rubber band it. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Because the analog stick, right, or the yeah. whatever the stick is, yeah, yeah. That, that's oh, how you know man. you were. That's how you know you were breeding, bro. Is when you, is when you were doing stuff like that. It was, it was great. Yeah. So you said all your four hundred hours went into that, Moss. Basically, um, <laughs> and I remember like I had one battle online that lasted like almost an hour. Uh-huh. And I was like, all right, this was this is hella fun. I lost, <laughs> but it was really close. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was like my highlight of like competitive battling. And mm-hmm. then it was like, okay, that's too much. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I have to go to school and Smash is coming out too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, naturally just other games came out and you know, but that other stuff to do, but yeah, it happens. But yeah, and um, yeah, I still have, I have, I've bought like every main Pokemon game. Like I have Sword and Shield. Um, so yeah, still, still invested, but not like as invested as I used to be. So with the Gen Four remake coming out, are you more excited, or how are you feeling about um, that one? I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm really curious about like how they're gonna, um, what they're gonna do with it because it looked pretty, pretty like a, pretty much like a one-on-one translation of the old game. So it kind of like a remaster, like they upgraded the graphics and all that stuff. Oh, so like it's just a remaster rather than that. That's what it looks like, mm-hmm. but um, you never really know because they remade when they did the RS remakes. Like they changed up a lot of the stuff and they brought in the mega evolutions and the primal reversal, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that kind of stuff would be interesting to see what they actually decide to do, especially since um, there's no mega evolutions right now. Uh-huh. And the current mechanic is like a region exclusive so far. So, it'll uh-huh. be interesting to see what they do. And uh-huh. there's like no. There's like no Diamond and Pearl Pokemon really in the current um, Gen 8 decks. Okay. So yeah, uh, and Gen 4 is always fun. So hopefully, like the biggest gripe about the game is like how slow everything moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like the HP bar takes like an hour to drop down. <laughs> right. So um, hopefully, you know, they have everything kind of sped up. And it paces a little better. And um, competitively, they take away the stupid 20 minute timer. And I think after oh, yeah. outside of that, it should be fine. I'm, I'm pretty excited about the game. It's, uh, I had, I had Diamond growing up. Man, I'm sad. I lost my, I lost my vanilla DS. Like, that's devastation, like, to oh, me. Man. 
So like I had, um, but that game was good. Um, I, I just, I'm definitely gonna buy it just because. I don't know. Isn't that what we do? We just isn't that, how, isn't, right? isn't that how they isn't that how, they, isn't that how they isn't that how they get us? Like just when you're just older and just have other responsibilities, all they do is just re-release the game somehow, remaster you graphics. Buy games. You just buy it. We just buy games. We have no. We know we have no time to play the games, but we still buy it. Just buy it anyway, out of you know, and just hoping one day we'll actually get to it, right? So you know how big our backlogs are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have this conversation basically anytime I talk to anyone who's just like a seasoned gamer at this point. The backlog. Actually, most of my friends now, dude, like they don't even have backlogs because they, they don't play single player games. Yeah, out of my friend group, like I don't. I mean, aside from like maybe like Moss, who like really is, like still likes single player games. Like you know, most people's backlogs is non-existent. What they really do is they'll play it like something like Fall Guys for like three days and then they just never touch it again. <laughs> And I'm just like, I guess. So. Or you have a Steam account and you just buy all the Steam Steam sale games and then you never play them. I think my I have a lot of games in my my Steam sale. Like I'm definitely an enthusiast, but I don't. Uh, I'm I'm pretty confident when I say it's not as bad as it could be. That a lot of people <laughs> have because some people's libraries are absurd. I'm just like, oh my gosh, yeah. like, what what's going on? It's like you're never going to play all of games. Yeah, so I'm pretty I, I'm pretty choosy comes to games but uh, but, but yeah i'll so good the sale is so good that's that's how they get you man how do you it down? <laughs> okay mute the notification you gotta mute the the, the steam application <laughs> just gotta delete your card info just no way to buy anything i don't know about all that deleting the card info. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will but uh, you know i will be getting the game though i for, for sure i just you know i'm very fond of uh, that gen in particular i just it's just hard for i didn't really want to get sword and shield uh because um i mean i will eventually it's just it wasn't really on my my must have list only because that's just how out of touch i am but you know pokemon knows what they're doing all of the devs know what you know all the publishers know what they're doing by appealing to the you know because this way they can get younger kids who have never played you know the games and then they get people who will return to it because of nostalgia so yeah, and it's something I'm okay with. It's cool. I mean, I like Gen Four is is just tight. Pokemon is tight, so I will be, I will be playing it, and I can't wait to have that discussion to have my discussion with you guys. I'm assuming everyone here is getting it. So. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting the prequel, but I am getting the. Uh, okay, wait. The what? Okay, wait. What? What is the what prequel? What are we talking about here? The Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Pokemon of the Wild. Oh yeah, legends. You know, I forgot about that. You know, I was intrigued actually when I saw that. I, 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 I'm really interested in that game. Yeah, me too. I, I want to see what they do with it. I mean, Naj, if you don't get it, I mean, that's that's cool. It's just I saw it and I just was like, wow, that's kind of that's pretty unique. Well, you, you know, see, so. I had the opposite reaction. I saw that and I said, this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. The whole world was empty. <laughs> what do you mean, well, bro? I, Breath, of, Breath of the Wild is empty too. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Well, I don't want an empty. I don't want empty Pokeball. Just give me my tight little route where I can only walk up and down while I'm breeding Pokemon. I'm good to go. When Naj swears on his own podcast, you love to see it. <laughs> so you know, so you know the passion is there. I don't think I've dropped the f bomb yet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I'm. I'm interested to see what they do with that game. Um, just from like a. I guess Pokemon lore wise, I want to see if they, since it's a prequel, how they're going to handle the decks and all that stuff. I want to see if they add any forms, especially since it's like a prequel. If the creation trio has anything like added to them, it should be pretty interesting. I'll give it a chance though, because they do have a lot of room to really make this game amazing. But I wasn't impressed with the first. Right. I don't know. I mean, they didn't really reveal much. It was just kind of like, hey, this is this is what we're working on. That's not a remake or a new gen. And yeah. that's actually really what I want to see is what they do where they're not making a new gen. Um, because, you know, I, we talked about this a little bit. Yeah. But, like, there's a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> <There's> basically... <laughs> Like I know that it says um, eight ninety eight 
of it, like in the decks, like eight ninety eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's I don't think that includes any of like the um the, the regional variants or yeah, anything. Yeah, and I feel like after a thousand, like, do we really need more? That's what I'm saying. Um, like, it, that's why I was kind of I was happy when I saw that, only because I just want them to at least make an attempt to deviate from yeah, the formula. Like just, I think if they stop creating like new mons, there's mm-hmm. a lot more stuff that they can um they can work on. Yeah, like I would like to see um not a new gen specifically, but like a new region doesn't have a whole bunch of like new pokemon but it'll have like more variants older pokemon um uh-huh, uh-huh. and it just focuses more on like the lore versus you know another new gen with new pokemon and like just more world building type of stuff to take it hey, hey moss you, you know what i'm thinking dude What's up? I'm, I'm thinking these kids saw temtem and they're like oh snap we gotta do something <laughs> we gotta do something new with our legends <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is Temtem even like what relevant on the radar? Because <laughs> I remember seeing on the radar. I remember seeing it and just just thinking it was cool because it was unique. You know, it was and like yeah, different. It was the form. The formula, you know, obviously is is, is Pokemon, but it's, yeah. But at the same time, like I. Like what you could do in that game is cool, you know. And honestly, I'm if, if I'm being honest, I'm pretty sure they don't care at all. But they may or may not have seen. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, like I, you know, they have to have they've had to have had the thought to like, okay, what yeah. can we do to to innovate? Because Pokemon has just been around for so long, and you know, people are gonna keep buying it. But but they did innovate. Don't you guys remember five years ago, Pokemon Go oh. came out. The transition king strikes again. <laughs> Not bad. It's some of your best work right there. Thank you. Thank you. Did you guys did you guys play? I, I played the first um I played the first like couple weeks. I I never thought it was bad. Actually I thought it was great. I, I was going through a really bad time in my life during that time. So I, I that's kinda why I fell off completely. Um, I just never came back. That's all. But Pokemon Go is still cool. Actually, it's still popping. There are people yeah. at there are people at work that are playing. Like just like like hey, uh, I have these two friends that you know will play during like, our breaks and lunches. Man, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie here, dude. Even on the clock, dude, we'll be sitting there, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there not doing that. Like, and they'll be like, Carl, you gotta hop on this raid, man. Like. <laughs> Wait, we need some help. I'll be like, y'all need to relax, dude. Y'all do this every day. <laughs> there is this, man. It's funny. Um, but yeah, when I when it came out, I just remember how uh how captivated everybody was. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it was, it was magic. Oh, that was a phenomenon. It was huge. And I remember going to I think when it really hit me was how you know, as how big it was, was when was I went when to Hillary the Hillary Clinton made a bad joke <laughs> that's not when it hit me i didn't even that didn't even come to mind I, I don't even remember that i don't remember that at all but i just oh man you got pokemon go to the pole <laughs> i'm done she really says that i forgot yeah. that is that's she did ta- it in a rally speech like that oh is, my gosh this that is, is tacky is that is actually really she probably funny. doesn't even ev train like what's wrong with it <laughs> and it all i gotta say is an attempt was definitely made um it's just uh yeah when it came out when it really hit me is when i went to the dublin plaza where the imax theater is at yeah and hey, my favorite movie theater out here yeah and i was i was sitting outside and just i just seen hell of people in the plaza it just it's just it's not a secret what you're doing it's obvious always <laughs> obvious you got the phone you know you got the phone out and your finger like in, twirling in a circle <laughs> It's so obvious. I thought it was funny. I, you know, if anything, it was heartwarming. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm glad Pokemon, Pokemon out. Go was ridiculous when it first came out. But I actually got into the, like the beta, but I did not understand what I was doing, so I didn't play it. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but like when I started working, I remember like a lot of people were like, that's like when it was getting really, really hype. And people would like go after work to like, you know, they find out where the, um, the closest like nest was for like a certain Pokemon, yeah. and there'd just be like field of people trying to catch routines and going like to San Francisco to catch Magic Carts and all this stuff. Oh yeah, 
Like, it was such a big deal. Like, it got people from, like, that haven't touched anything Pokemon related to get back into Pokemon because everybody was playing it. Yeah. It's crazy how big the appeal of Pokemon is. But it was wild, too, because you could actually go out and catch it. Like, dude, it made people, like, go walk that yeah. haven't gotten <laughs> off the chair for a little long. Like, I have to go outside to play this game. Oh, my gosh. I'm going outside. outside. Let's go. Houses. Yeah, I got a funny story about that. <laughs> Dude, like, restaurants turned into Pokestops. Yeah, that was like, crazy, it too. Increased, like, people go, like, traffic in restaurants and, like, stores. Though. Man, you remember when it, you remember when it became a problem? <laughs> oh, yeah. People started, yeah. People, people were, like, trespassing the park. People yeah. were like, yo, don't come up in here. Like, I see it on star social media. Like, people were like, yo, hey, don't, what are you guys doing, man? <laughs> Why are you in my gate? Get out of here. Like, what is going you on? Creepy children. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I uh, hopped the fence. <laughs> oh, word? You, you're yeah, out here hopping a yeah. fence. Okay. Yeah, because there's like a field behind my house. So I hopped the fence, you know, to go catch some Pokemon in the field. Okay. And I was rusty with hopping fences. Oh, I, uh, my go. hand got it's snagged. Gonna... I had a cut in everything. And I had to walk all the way home because I was like, I'm not hopping this fence again. <laughs> flash in my my other hand. <laughs> oh my take the long way home. That is pretty funny. Yeah, and like I'll still play like if I'm like a walk or something. Yeah. I'll um, you know, I'll just have it on stand or have it open so I can like hatch eggs and stuff. If I like, I kind of know the poke stops on my route now, so you know, I'll just I'll just spin real quick. So I'm playing like I'm playing super casually, yeah. but like yeah, I'll put it on every once in a while. I just like what's keeping me from playing it right now is like I just don't I don't use my phone for games, which is I guess maybe that, that'd be surprising since it's my hobby. Yeah. But I don't use it for games at all, or right? on pur- on purpose because I just need to save my battery just in case, you know. And um, yeah. yeah, you know, so I just never really got into like gotcha games. I never got into. Um, well, that's a good I, thing. Yeah, I never got into Gacha Game Pokemon Go. Um, I know Slay the Spire is going to exist on Android eventually. Yeah, not not very good. I can't I can't have Slay the Spire on my phone, bro. I mean, I'll be on that forever. But otherwise, uh, yeah, but like, yeah, it's still um, it's still big now. That's what's crazy. Like, it, it may not be as mainstream as it used to be, but the community is still popping. Like, there's still mm-hmm. I'm surprised. Yeah, so they keep enhancing it, and there's you know they're steadily releasing the new. Generations, I think they're at Gen six right now. Wow. Y- yeah. That's pretty so, fast. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact: I have a manager. I used I used to. Um, he still works there. He's a, he's a great guy. I have a ma- I have a manager that would um play during all hours of work, literally <laughs> all hours of work. And even better is if you play for like eight to ten hours. Well, I'm sure it's not a secret, but you're not going to go very far if, you know, doing the same thing. So what people are doing is they are spoofing their locations. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's a spoof. <laughs> they're spoofing their locations to, you know, make it seem like they're in, I don't know, San Francisco, mm-hmm. uh, SoCal, uh, the East Coast. <laughs> like, they be doing some wild stuff just to get Pokemon. And I'm just impressed at the dedication that some of these kids be having. And by kids, I mean grown ass adults, <laughs> right? So, it, uh, but yeah, no, it's it's just cool. I mean, I'm not per, to me. I don't really care. It's a game, and it's not even a super competitive game, if you ask me. It can but be. It can be, <laughs> but like, it's not. You know, you know. But at the same time, it's like I don't, I don't care that much. If I was playing the game personally, I would not do that because it just doesn't feel genuine. Like, it doesn't feel, like, real. Like, I, I need mm-hmm. to actually, like, because I, 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 when I think about Pokemon Go, I want to be, like, dang, I was walking, like, at, like, 4 p.m. at, like, just a random day trip to somewhere, and I caught this, and it was a lot of work, very, lot of work, very memorable, <laughs> you know? And meanwhile, these cats are, like, oh, yeah, I was just spoofing from the desk. Like, <laughs> but it's not Pokemon without some glitches or hacks. Okay. <laughs> oh, Pokemon has the best glitches, but, um. Yeah, so when I went to Japan in uh, 2018, dude, it was Pokemon Go on 
everything. Really? You, wow. You turn your Pokemon Go and there's Pokemon all over the place. There's Pokestops all over the place. Like, it was so easy to play Pokemon Go out there. When they got the culture. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Sad. It was, was good, like, man. dude, people, like, I was, um, one of the friends, or one of my coworkers I was playing with, I, like, took screenshots of it and sent it to him. And he's like, dude, <laughs> so much Pokemon stuff over there. Yeah, that's cool. That's, like, you um, didn't even have to try. That's good. I'm not surprised, you know, the community is, you know, out there is definitely, th- or just the gaming community in general, it's just thriving out there. there. That's the cool. Pokemon in Japan has, like, three Pokemon stores, or Pokemon centers, like, at least three of them. Uh-huh. Yeah, and like the merch that they have at the Pokemon centers in Japan, it's pretty uh pretty interesting. They got everything out there. Pokemon utensils, Pokemon shirts, shoes, all the bags you could look for. Bags, yeah. Backpacks, <laughs> candy. They got it all. Japan has some of the best merch. If you're a fan of like Japanese stuff, if you're a fan of anime, you're a fan of like Pokemon yeah. games. Yeah, you need to make a trip to Japan and spend some money. It's fun. I still got to get out there. Me too. I'd love to be out there. Yeah. And eat a lot of ramen because it's freaking delicious. <laughs> delicious out there. What? You mean to tell me we don't have the best ramen here in the United States? What? <laughs> Uncle Sam brand ramen. <laughs> Man. But Go was a special time because it was almost like you could have your, you know, maybe six favorite Pokemon in real life. So, you know, given the chance, right? And you guys can pull any six Pokemon into reality. Which six would it be? You know what's crazy, Naj, is how, I don't know, it's been a couple, it's been a couple months now we've been doing this podcast. And it's weird how when we talk about something and you just, it'll somehow tie into the next subject every time you bring it up like it right. it's almost like it's on purpose it, it just, everything falls into the place all the time it, um are we talking about dream team right dream team any six pokemon they're real and you get a you know all right i want all travel the, the best world. legendaries no. <laughs> here guys i'll go first i got you guys all right Check me out so if i could have any six pokemon like my dream absolute dream pokemon uh, this would be it right here. So I got, um, so I've made it known before. I just like water Pokemon. I don't know why. I just like water in general. It's just something about it being cool. Uh, I'm a, I would definitely be a water bender fat, like re- on some real stuff. I would be in water. <laughs> like, I just, I just like water. So, um, yeah. So if, if I were in a dream team, it'd be, let's see. So I got blast toys on there, of course, because Squirtle's the OG. best. Because Squirrel's the best starter. Don't at me. The podcast <laughs> is almost over. So, this is good. so I got um I got Starmie on my team too. I like I like Starmie. Starmie's a cool Dragonite. Dragonite is the only Pokemon that's not water on my list. I don't know why. I just always thought Dragonite was the dragon. Just because I mean, if you look at him, it's so like, OG, man. He's just the OG. Like he's just been, he's he's seen it all. He's been through it. He's like the you like when, when all the other dragons look at him. Just, I know he may seem maybe if you're like newer to Pokemon, he may seem like generic, but it's like he's the dragon Pokemon. Like you see him, like you know what I mean. Like so, that's just my opinion. I just course. like like he always looks jolly. That too, he looks like a pleasant. Po- you remember in the Pokemon movie when he was a messenger? Like yep. he he just looked. Hey, that was a cool card too. Yeah, like he's he's a cool Pokemon. So I also have Kingdra on my team. Um, I already thought Seedra was cool, right? Yeah. But like when I seen Kingdra when they introduced in a I don't remember which gen, gen which gen it was Gen two, two. Gen yeah. Gen two. What was it Gen two with Kingdra? Really? Yeah, yeah it was you, uh, one of the gym leaders' signatures. You, you needed a? Did you need something? You needed something to evolve, right? Yeah, like a dragon tail or something that you yeah, traded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, so so Kingdra, and then I have Greninja on my team. Nice. Uh, Greninja's is the cool. I like Greninja, man. The water shurikens is cool. He's just so slick, like cool. Um, and my last Pokemon, uh, I got Poliwrath. Oh, okay. yeah, Pol- cool. Poliwrath is a cool Pokemon. I actually really like. I just like his design. He just looks. He looked hard, but he got the spiral, and he got you know he got the little the gloves on. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, yeah that's, that's, my, that's, that's 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 my my. I was thinking about Politoed, but it's just not. 
Uh, he's cool. He, it he's cool. Same appeal. It's not the same. He just makes such a huge. He's too goofy. Trans- yeah, he makes a huge transformation. <laughs> I'm like, why did he change? Polly Roth already looked cool, you know. So, and I don't know if I told you guys, but I always tell people this all the time. But I have, I had a shiny Polly Toad. Um, nice. Yeah, I had I actually had a shiny Polly Toad. But no, I'm good. I rather have Polly Roth. But yeah, that's my six. Nice. Any of them shiny? <laughs> you know, I mean, now we have to ask. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna say no on that one because it's just I don't know. I, I mean, I think shiny Pokemon are super cool, and you should definitely be proud that you have one. But yeah, I don't know. I just never, yeah, I never really thought like, oh, it's got to be shiny. If I, you know, have my, like my dream, I think I just like them the way they are. So yeah. Dude, my first shiny was Venonat, and I was highly disappointed. Venonat, <laughs> man. Oh wait, no, was it a Ven? I think it was a Venonat. Is it worse than or mine? Robin- is it worse? Is one oh, of the two. oh, is it worse than mine? I had a shiny graveler. Graveler was pretty cool. Oh. It wasn't that different. It wasn't that different. Like I remember seeing it. I was it's gold, like, like it's like a gold color. Right. It's all right. It's cool. I mean. <laughs> anyway, I mean, yeah, Redna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Moss. That's. Redna. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um. Uh, let's see. I, I can go next. Let's hear some of your dream teams. Um, I'm not gonna do a legendary, even though um, Zapdos is like one of my favorites. Oh, oh sorry. Which, which one? Which one? Zapdos. That's that should oh. still go through. That's all right. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, if you want to, that you know, it's cool too. I mean, but Zapdos I mean, is hella cool. Yeah, Zapdos is cool. always my favorite uh, of the birds, the bird trio. Um. But yeah. Like Paul, for some reason, like I've always like ground Pokemon. Oh, okay. Like they, but it's like yeah, my whole team is in ground. <laughs> Earthquake is kind of cheap. Uh, <laughs> Earthquake's really good, man. And they all like most of them are South Rock. Okay. <laughs> and they're all <laughs> electricity. It's broken. You hate to but see no. it. Um, let's see. Definitely go with uh, okay. So Zapdos. Um, uh, Empoleon. Oh, okay. Right. Empoleon is so cool. Um, that's like the first start. I, that's the only starter I've picked on my first playthrough that wasn't the grass type. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, and I like his like his water steel is pretty cool, and he's got like the royal, you know, the emperor penguin vibes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, that'll probably be who I pick in diamond or brilliant diamond. Same or finding diamond, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Same, I will um, also be picking that. Nice, um, for the type okay, advantage, so... then <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so Empoleon, Zapdos, um, Hitadon. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, I thought he was like a cool, a cooler ground type. Um, Wait, does he know he knows Sandstorm, right? Yeah, I learned uh, our ability Sandstorm. Oh, I hate him. Super hate tanky. Him. Hate him. Super tanky. Yep. Um, Is he Libra? Uh, Swampert. Swampert, okay. Oh, Swampert. That Pokemon. It's the G. Yeah. That Pokemon's cool. Swampert for Telecool. Um, and you like the mud hips? <laughs> <laughs> I hated that meme. You know what? I, I actually thought it was I heard funny. I like the mud hips. The the mud kit with the and then the, the the random cheeseburger thing I I don't know why I always thought it was I remember seeing it for the first time and just la- laughing so hard at how dumb it was like it's such a stupid <laughs> meme and just la- I just I, I appreciated it I don't know why but, but well for like, me somebody like, said that to me every single day <laughs> almost for a year so oh, that's why. <laughs> You know what really got me is when they put the Z at the end of the mudkips. I don't know why it's yep. so funny. And to they me. always spelled so... that wrong. It was I heard you I heard you like to mudkips. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dumb. Oh man, now it's just all tilted. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all coming back to me. <laughs> that is funny. Let's see. Um, either Honcho or Star Raptor. Okay. Um, they're both really cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. Um, so yeah, one of those guys, and then um, 
probably Alakazam. Nice. Mm, dang, that Pokemon kind of cheap. The <laughs> only special attack? In Gen 1. Only in Gen 1. Only in Gen Yeah. But Gen was... 3, he was cool with the, the elemental punches. Yeah. And then Gen 4, they're like, <laughs> said enough yeah. Of that. It don't matter. It was oppressive. <laughs> Gen 1, dude. No, special in Gen attack 1, was... it was broken. And, and Psychic. Ridiculous. Yep. Psychic with a broken type it had no weaknesses outside of Bug and Ghost. And Absolutely ridiculous. Bug was trash, and Ghost had one move that was set damage. Yeah, classic. Yeah. And special, the special stat was your special attack and your um, your special defense. So it was mad broken. Classic. All right, so I guess it's me then. Uh, it's the first Pokemon I want is Steelix because I always wanted to ride around on top of a Steelix. Okay. <laughs> that, that, how, how tall is Steelix? I, 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 you know, he, the stats should be somewhere here. Let me. Yeah, let's see. I know it's pretty long. I don't know how tall it is. Let's see how, how I don't tall. think it has the height. 30 feet. Um, it's 30, 30 feet. feet. Long. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. That's doable, yeah. I guess. So you're going to be seeing me. <laughs> Riding on the top of a Steelix with the rest of my Pokemon. That's kind of cool. I like that. But uh, it'd be Steelix, Metacham. That's Meta-Cham. why I chose him earlier. Okay. Yeah. He's just, I don't know, he's cool. I liked his ability in the game, Pure Power, where he's just hitting extra hard. Uh huh. So, just one of my favorites. Him and Breloom. I always thought uh, Metacham was cool because it was like typeset or opposite. Yeah. Like, Fighting is weak to psychic. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was a, they took a big risk with that typing. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. But uh, Medicham, uh, you guys should know this one. Drampa, of course. Uh, of course, dragon type. <laughs> of course. I didn't even know about that Pokemon until you brought it up. I have no. I still don't know who that Pokemon is. I barely know who it is. He's just but... so chill, man. He just looks like all he's doing is laughing all day or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm absolutely sure I'm going to pull at least one. Yo, hook it up. In a couple of weeks. I got you. Then uh, Vavilion. That's like the only bug Pokemon. Like, you know how they always have like the Butterfreeze or something that starts off? Yeah. It's the yeah. only one I like. I remember you used that in, uh, what was it, Gen 5? Yeah. Gen 6. X- yeah. X and Y. And I was like, how am I losing to a Vivilion? <laughs> <laughs> that sound was broken. <laughs> this man. makes no sense. And let's see, I said Steelix, Medicham, Vivel, Vivion, whatever. Mm-hmm. Breloom, Drampa, and then Absol. Just because, like, Absol. What is that? Normal dark? Dark. Oh, it's just dark. Or just dark? Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was like one of the few mega Pokemon that just sucked, and I just felt bad for it because <laughs> it looked cool. Oh, my gosh. They should have made a dark berry. Yeah. There's always hope for next gen. Yeah. Right? Gen 4 is what they're focusing on now. Oh. I thought Absol was Gen 4. No, it's Gen 3. Oh. Never mind then. But yeah. Sorry, Absol. <laughs> hey, real quick, before we go, I forgot. Honestly, this is a throw, but it's too late. My list, list is set in stone. Yeah. Well, actually, my favorite Pokemon, actually, like, legit, my favorite Pokemon is not even a water type. It's actually Gengar. Oh, Gengar is actually Gengar my is solid, Gengar is, dude. Gengar is sick, dude. The special attack, Shadow Ball is just cool. Shadow was awesome. The move is just is just tight. I, I just I had I actually had a Gengar like on my team, mm-hmm. and like I uh, it wasn't anything super solid special. Pokemon, man. But to me, yeah, to me it was just was it was just special because just not just because he was like viable competitively but i just liked him i just thought he was cool i was like yeah, this is the coolest ghost pokemon like like well you know what i mean like at least to me so but yeah that Gengar had a really cool uh mega form too yeah <laughs> it got banned <laughs> instantly <laughs> hey and he's in poking <laughs> oh yeah you know what i mean boys <laughs> yeah thoughts best fighting game, <laughs> best fighting game. <laughs> so yeah that's my those are my uh had to throw that in there real quick. Yeah, honorable nice. mention. Yeah, of course. I mean, if Pokemon right. were real, we'd probably have more than six. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'd have the uh, the box that just has all your Pokemon just living in there. 
hopefully it's a nice look. But um, just to bring it back to Smash real quick, I always thought it would be really cool if they did like um, a Gen 3 Pokemon trainer in the yeah. game since there's no Gen 3 representation at all in Smash. Mm-hmm. Well, playable character wise. Yeah. Um, I thought that would be cool. Like they have, I think Gen 3 has like some of the cooler starters. The cool starters. Right. Um, yeah, what would be the, the line? I was I always thought it would be um probably Trico uh, um so Trico freaking A, what is Combuskin and then um Swampert as the three three months. Yeah. Um but I always wanted uh Septile to be like the final evolution one. It's because there's no like there's no third evolution grass Pokemon that's usable in Smash Head. Yo, my, my boy Torterra's feeling hurt right now. Torterra's, Torterra's on four legs. So is Bulbasaur. Well, these, are all bi- they're all, these are all bipedal. <laughs> He's too big. <laughs> you got a tree on his back. He's too big. <laughs> Imagine how slow he'd be walking around with a tree. How's he going to recover? <laughs> He just doesn't. It's the worst mind Come on. Are there any ice? Oh, ice climbers? They just wall him. It's four times super effective. <laughs> just camp it full screen. He can't jump either, so he's got to take all of it. <laughs> he gets hit with Blizzard. Oh, it's, it's a wrap. Like, you know how when Jigglypuff's shield breaks, he just star KOs? If he gets frozen, he's gone. <laughs> Those, those, those interactions are always funny. I was, I've always when liked those. I first found that, I was like, that's funny. Yeah, Breaks it's kind of... Shield, it's instant kill. That had me rolling. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. Like, people's game plan is not just to break her shield. It's hard, man. That, yeah. that is my game plan. It's, I just <laughs> never could do it. <laughs> what if you could just, like, what do you just main... You just main Marth, or you just specifically choose you Marth... Or like Lucina against like a, a a known Jigglypuff player, right? And you just that's your whole game plan. <laughs> and it, it, whether it, you know, it, breaker, man. it's not even cons- not even guaranteed to succeed. <laughs> Dude, that one poke does a lot of shield damage, though. Yeah. Which one? Like just one poke of it. Like even if you don't charge it up. Oh yeah. It yeah. does a lot of shield damage. Yeah. Feels good. Thanks, Sakurai. <laughs> 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 Uh, but I mean, as you can see, we, we kind of want to play some Smash now after talking about all this Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's hey, great. Man, it's got the, the second highest reps in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Right after or Anime like Sword. Tied, yeah. yeah, it's like tied between Fire Emblem and Pokemon, I think. Maybe mm-hmm. Mario, too? I think Mario's the top. Okay. And then um, Pokemon and uh, Fire Emblem. Yeah. yeah. Do you count all the you Bowser know, children as separate? No. Okay, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> they all play it's, the same. It's the same. It's the same. Somebody's out there just raging right now because we said that. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Rage all you want. What do you it's mean? The same Why character. Is not a separate character? Same character. The announcer says all their names, though. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's the point. That that's true. A debate for next time. Yes, yeah, next podcast. <laughs> the next. Oh, <laughs> Well, it's been great, guys, but I think we got to wrap it up. Uh, we got to guess each other's who's that Pokemon. We got to go over, you know, what Pokemon meant to us growing up and just seeing how it's a force in our lives. For all 25 years it's been out, and, you know, we got to, you know, live in the fantasy world if our Pokemon were real. But uh, that's never going to happen. Maybe You mean, you mean when, they were, when, when they're real, right? 50-year anniversary? Oh, yeah. Genetic Pokemon? Year? <laughs> Well, this has been Whispering Tears, West Sidious and Masta. Catch you guys next week. Later. Later, guys. <laughs>